conclude the review of the Model 100C drill pointer uh, with a demonstration on how to uh, correctly and safely uh, remove the used uh, stone and how to correctly dress that stone. And it applies equally to a Model 100C as well as a fully automatic 1000B or C, CC. But the first thing that you want to do is you want to turn the power off. And, you, and I'm really doing it because I'm really doing the job. I want to make sure that the power is off so that none of this stuff can accidentally be actuated. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to open the cab, lock out my work head so it doesn't flop forward when I open the cabinet. I have it open. That gas job won't hold it open up that high. So I'm just going to put a little prop in there, a piece, piece of wood, whatever you want. Then I want to make certain, right now, the, uh, the wheel, this used wheel, is close to the work head in its operating position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back that wheel way, way off from the work head. I'm, do I'm doing that because when I replace the wheel, I'm going to have that much more stock sticking out on that wheel. So I'm going to back it up. And what I'm doing is I'm moving the wheel backward. Yeah, I got about an inch and a half there. I'll go a little more in. It'll make it easier for me to remove the wheel and hub as well as put it back on. And the other thing that I want to do, and I will demonstrate this uh, in another segment here, but I'm lifting a ratchet that's on the lower dresser device, and I am simply backing the entire dresser away from the wheel so that I have clearance to put the new one on. There. Uh, then I take my spanner wrench and I have a, the locking nut that's on the top of the spindle which holds the wheel in place. And I'm going to take a little soft hammer or something, just tap it loose, remove the lock nut, and I'll take the, take the hammer again and I'm just going to tap this until I've got it loose. There, I have it loose. Now, you always want to have somebody help you with this because this thing is extremely clumsy and very, very heavy. And we'll just walk it over to a flat surface. Okay, to replace the used stone, all we need to do is remove these six bolts get the bolts out of the, out of the, out of the hub, flip it over, lift the stone off, and a, a part of the hub will come with it. Replace the stone, put it back together, fit it together, flip it upside down, and just put your bolts back in. Now, when you reinstall it back on the spindle, you want to make sure that your surfaces are clean. And I'm just going to walk over here and I'm going to make sure that I clean my spindle off. And uh, Mike's going to help me now. We'll just pick it up, walk it over. <clears throat> there we have it. Always take something soft, lead hammer, rubber one or something. Tap that on there, make sure you have a firm seat on the tapers. Spindle the hub. All right, I have it tight now. I'm going to use my hammer, firm it up, and I'm done. That'll do it. Okay, now. 
I've got the wheel and stone back on the machine. I'm powering up the machine. And for, for demonstration purposes right now, I'm just going to hit machine start. And I've engaged the electrical and the hydraulics. And this is the, this very large mechanism here is the dresser. And all the work is done here at the focal point. And I'm going to push manual dress so you can see that diamond sticking out of the diamond holder. Now, I just, I turned it off here mechanically. And right now, if I were touching the wheel, I would be dressing, but of course I backed it off. That's the working point. Now I'm just going to engage the hydraulics again and it backed out of the way. Then I'm going to remove my prop here, close my cover, lock it down, unlock my work head, and uh, that'll do it. Uh, I might mention that just its stylus is sticking out approximately a quarter inch from this space here, from this surface. Actually, it's five sixteenths of an inch. So if you wanted to replace that diamond, then you would simply uh, uh, loosen this set screw or this uh, uh, bolt, and that uh, diamond should slide out of there. You might have to push it out from... Uh, from a little hole that's in the back here. Here's my finger in the back, but you can get a, like an Allen wrench or something, push the diamond out and stick another one in. And the best thing to do is to make a little fixture, a little, take a little piece of round stock, maybe uh, five eighths or, or uh, three quarter inches around and about yeah, an inch long or something, and simply drill a flat bottomed hole in it, five sixteenths of an inch deep. And then you can use it to set that diamond and its stylus in the holder. So I'm going to just open the hydraulics again and let that finish its cycle. I'll remove my prop, shut my, shut my cover and lock it down, unlock my work head so I know where I'm at. And then we're going to go over and I'm going to show you the proper technique for actually dressing the wheel. Okay. I'm turning my uh, wheel on, and then uh, this is my manual dresser switch. This whole mechanism here is my automatic dresser. And I'm just going to push the button and let you see uh, how, how this controls the speed of that dresser. Now I'm going to slow it down. I can slow it down to any speed that I want. And what I'm trying to accomplish here now is I am going to push the button and you won't be able to see it that way. But I, what I did is I brought my diamond stylus into the radius area of the, of the wheel. And I've got it on stop now. I mean, I actuated my, my valve here so that it, the, the diamond stopped. And I'm going to lift, I am going to lift this lever here, this lever, ratcheting lever, I'm going to lift it. And by going clockwise, I can move the entire dresser unit, including the dresser diamond, into the wheel. And all I'm doing is I'm lifting it, and I am advancing now the diamond. I want to be careful because I don't want to knock my diamond out, but I don't want to spend an hour pushing buttons to get that diamond up to the wheel. So I just keep doing that. And what I'm going, ah, I don't know if you heard it or not. I'm going to give it a little more. I think you can hear it. Now I'm going to back it off a little bit. There, I backed it off. Now, I know that my diamond tip is in pretty close proximity to the stone. 
So I'm going to open my little valve here and watch it finish the dress slowly. Now I'm going to back my wheel, my dresser up a little more because I may be a little close. I'm pushing the start button again. Ah, it's about perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit here. You don't have to watch this. I'm just going to turn the coolant on. And I'm going to finish my dress. Now I'm just going to be pushing the button. And uh, the self-compensating dresser uh, and the self-compensating wheel will be working together in tandem. And I will finish my dress. I can see that I'm not dressing the whole radius on the stone. I'm getting closer now. But I know I got a pretty good groove in there from uh, when I tried to set this up. Now, it looks like I got a, quite a bit of material yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually advance my wheel down here a little bit. Yeah, a little more. Getting close now. Almost. Now this uh, does take some time. Normally, to go to take a wheel completely off the machine, put another stone on the hub, put it back, and get the dresser set up and everything, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. 10 minutes would be about right. Now I think I got. I'm feeding it. Normally, this automatic dresser automatically feeds uh, a half a thou per cycle. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving it an extra click so it feeds maybe a thou or a thousand and a half until I know that I got a full dress. Now I just about have a full dress. Now I, I have it now. So my last dress is going to be automatic. It's going to be a half a thou. And I'm going to slow the dresser down considerably to put a beautiful, beautiful finishing dress. Now my eye, with my eye, I can see that I have a full and complete dress. And that's the dressing operation. That's it.